Ah. Uh. Yeah. Hi guys, my name is Paris Gold. I'm a singer-songwriter from West Africa, Sierra Leone, based in the United States. And I'm here to chill with you guys and get to know a little bit of something about me. A little bit about my recent project is that it is the, I don't know how to say it, we call it one pot from where I'm from, um, it is the one pot in your food. It's the one pot that you need. It has everything of everything. Um, drill, I'm a piano, um, dance hall, and yeah, soul. Everything you basically need. Get with it. Shades of gold, baby. I will basically describe my musical journey as, um, I would say me a god against all odds because it's definitely, you know, not been an easy one, but it's definitely been one that has been um, faith driven and a lot of persistence and hard work. So, yeah. I feel like the biggest misconception about me is the fact that I am mean or I am, you know, what, what is it that they say? I'm scared to go upstairs and talk to her. Nine times out of ten, I can't see you from afar, okay? <laughs> so, there's nothing to be scared about. Um, but, yeah, I think that's the biggest misconception about me, that I'm mean, you know, I'm like Evelini. And little do you know, I'm like a 5'2 cupcake, so, yeah. I feel like one of the greatest fears that I had to overcome is not making it. Um, cause a lot of times I was like, you know, I don't want to be, you know, on the sidewalk somewhere through the old guitar and just, baby, lock them doors. <laughs> it's a lot. <lot. laughs> I didn't want to do that. So I think that was a fear that I had to overcome. And, you know, ever since then, I've been doing great. Ew. Um, one thing I like to achieve before I die definitely is to make it. I'm almost blow for this lifetime. Can't die regular schmegular like that, like that. Now we must be something, somebody for this lifetime. So before I die, in the name of Jesus, never at me, but by the grace of God, <laughs> I own like nine marshals. <laughs> I count it. <laughs> Um, my sound now as an artist, I would say it's more, um, it's more, it's more thought out, um, than before. I feel like, um, before I would just get in the studio and make any kind of vibe, but now I kind of just kind of, you know, always want to do different than what I did before and just, um, yeah, you know, shock the people. I like to shock -talize. So something like that. So definitely that's how my sound has changed so far. Hmm. Growing up, some of my influences actually were Ace of Bass, um, Busta Rhymes, um, Brenda Fassi, um, obviously the Queen. Um, who else? On the dance hall scene, Patra. Um, and the list goes on, Jada Kiss, and, you know, some great rappers as well. But, you know, basically everywhere and everything. I didn't really have, like, specifics. I was listening to Westlife, Celine Dion, a bunch of them. Obviously, make I make no home because I'd be like, say, everybody's fighting for this feature. You know, everybody's fighting for it. But honestly speaking, it's not something I'm fighting for. But it's like, if I had to make a prayer request and leave it on God's like, <laughs> we do, obviously, 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 you know who I, I, I was, you know, yes. Is this the thanks that I get for putting your videos on? <laughs> Yo, I'm a comedian, bro. <laughs> business like I wonder what my dating life is I wonder what my dating life is if it don't make money it don't make sense 
Me carry comb my head. Hey, me and I want no stress. See this life in no ba over this life no balance. Even the bloggers say they they try to find something to chop for this lifetime. So make them find their work now. Make them find their food for the day. <laughs> Five years from now, by the special grace of God, it would have been up and it stuck. You know what I'm saying? When I say up and it stuck, definitely we would have raised the, the, the banner high for Sierra Leone, definitely globally, by the grace of God. Not by me, you understand? So get it. You know, this life, you understand? But by the grace of God, you're balling now. <laughs> Um, okay, for me, I feel like when I got the, I always knew that, but when I got the confirmation of like, um, you know, like BBC kind of like, you know, stamping that, all right, boom, you know, they're in, like, yeah, for me, that was when I got the confirmation, but I always knew before then, but, um, that's when I got like the, okay, go girl, you got this, you know, the confidence anyways, yeah. I usually don't have a formula that I follow when I write songs, but if I could give you a little insight, it'll be basically me hearing the beat and just responding to the first thing that comes to mind and I just build from around it. It's very organic, so I don't really have like a formula of how it goes. Hmm. You want to know the title of my next album? What is the title of my next album? What? You yourself should ask yourself that question. What's the title of my next album? Maybe you can tell me. Tell, comment down below the next title of the next album. Thanks. <laughs> So I didn't have anyone specifically that I looked up to, but I have artists that I genuinely like, which were artists like Big Joe, um, definitely Bobby. Um, um, definitely, um, what's her name? Yeah, so definitely, yeah. Oh, 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 I can't even forget. Now it's coming back to me. Emerson, um, what's her name? Vicky Fauna. The list goes on. I think those are like people that I listen to, but I wouldn't say like look up to. Makes sense. I do. I feel like um, the ones who be in my DM depend on what you're DMing. Let's be clear, okay? All you um, 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 forex stars, all you um, about to double your money next week, come into the group chat, join Telegram. Packer, go, clicks. But if it's the gold gang, of course now nah, I'm here. One thing that my fans don't know about me, I would say um, I am an introvert extrovert. I know it's kind of weird. I know it's a lot going on, um, <laughs> but I am probably like <laughs> we can go we can go out, but I'm gonna like stand <laughs> in a corner. But but then when it's time for me to come out, I will come out. I don't know. It's very weird. Um, and yeah, I think that's one thing, and I can be shy at times, you know, depending on where you put me. But other than that, I think. You know, you will continue to get to know each other now. It's a lifetime journey. <laughs> In the future, I think you guys should expect from me, by the grace of God, nothing but greatness. Um, definitely other business ventures, possibly acting and other, you know, special special scenes but definitely a full package um and also i'm still figuring it out i'm still discovering parts of me so you guys just stay tuned it's gonna be nothing but ginger and also just a special insider album coming soon very very soon thank you guys so much for getting to know me i definitely definitely appreciate it it's been vibes 
it's been enjoyment it's been car she's it's been cruises you know you guys are my g's go gang for life and we're in here and we're in here deep make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you hit the like button comment down below follow me on all socials and of course you've got to specially shout out the man that's behind the camera come on now jmp productions you don't want to miss it shades of gold is out on all streaming platform go and tell your sister to tell your sister sister you neighbor 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 okay okay go gang thank you guys so much i love you guys like a fat kid loves cake but anyway that guy like cake anyways love you guys so much it's paris gold to the world baby